Hey, what's up? Uh, I have a little problem with my sunroof here. Uh, so when I got this car, it made a little bit of a racket up here, just like a very mild sort of rattle when it would be idling. And over the past couple of years, it's gotten louder and louder. Uh, so much so that when it's idling away, um, once it's up to running temperature, it is quite annoying. It makes the experience very different driving it. So I'm going to start it up and um, let you listen to it. But it really takes away from having like a nice clean car, a nice clean old car, uh, and it kind of makes it feel like a rattly old car, if you know what I mean. So let's take a quick listen at it. We've just driven a few kilometers so engines up to running temperature I'm not sure you'll be able to hear it but I'll turn everything off so it's coming from like over here somewhere and if you open this, it gets much louder. And I found that if I put my hand up here and push down on this, there's a metal tab back here. If I push down on that, it goes away. So I'm not actually sure as to what's happening, but I did some automotive detective work and what I found was the sunroof and everything is nice and secure. There's no sort of play or anything in it. It doesn't move up and down. Um, but I noticed that uh, the rattle comes from the passenger side and when I was looking at the passenger side headliner, there's a crease over there. And that tells me that someone's been in there before me. So chances are that they may have not tightened something up or they haven't taped something down, like a wiring loom or something, um, or this bracket here underneath the headliner has come loose, which I think there's a pan that bolts to the roof uh, of the actual car to like a mount or something, and then the glass bolts to that pan. So anyway, I'm gonna pull this off and we'll take a gander at it. All right, so that's fixed. Uh, if I'm honest, it only took me about half an hour. The trim panels came off all right. Uh, the only issue I had was on the passenger side. This uh, trim clip is broken. Uh, nothing but a double-sided tape or some good um, super glue won't fix that. As for the sunroof, surprisingly, for the front sunroof, you can get amazing, well, pretty good access, really. Um, what you got to do is take off the grab handle up here on the passenger side, the driver's side doesn't have one up there. Both the grab handles up here, uh, and it's all just Phillips screwdrivers, not uh, screw, Phillips screws. You take off the actual trim panels that go uh, on both sides here on the A pillars, they pop off all the way up here, and then once you've got them all popped off, you pull them up and they slide out. The sun visors come out, the rear view mirror, and the actual dome light, map lights. That comes out as a unit down there. Again, all Phillips head screws, the same screws as these. Uh, and then you can get a pretty good look at the sunroof internal. So this is that pan I was telling you about. This pan bolts up to the actual frame of the car and then to the pan bolts uh, the actual glass panel. What was wrong on this one, and all I did was I went around all of these 10 millimeter bolts or screws, nuts, sorry, uh, all of these 10 millimeter nuts, which are connected to bolts with uh, a spanner and just a 10 millimeter socket drive. And the one that was loose and creating that racket was the last one that I did and the most annoying to get to. So I'm basically crouching on the passenger seat, pry this down a little bit. And if you can see, oh my gosh, I'll try and give you guys a decent look here because who knows, who this might help in the future. You can see those 10 millimeter uh, nuts and bolts back there. That's the one that clamps this panel down, basically. 
uh, and it stops metal to metal contact. So what was happening was, if you see this little gap here in between this metal roof panel, the fold, and then the lower panel here, what was happening is back there where the nut is loose, it was making metal to metal contact and it was basically just um, vibrating. So that's fixed, nice and quiet, and not too bad of a job really. All right, I'm gonna have to give the car a decent clean because as you can see, everything is caked in 20 plus year old head roof liner dust, including myself. Alrighty, take care, bye.